Hello everyone and welcome. My name's Connor and this is John. Today we're presenting our Disrupting Law National Pitch of OLAF, which is our online legal application form. This project has partnered with Checkbox, who provide the platform for our solution. We've also commenced negotiations with our first client, Legal Aid ACT. John will take us through our problem. Thank you, Connor. A legal aid application, if successful, can lead to comprehensive support throughout the legal process. Frequently, this relates to criminal and family matters. This is what an applicant is confronted by. It's a 14-page application form, only available in hard copy, a 21-page online explanation guide, and over 100 questions. I now pass over to Connor for the solution. Thank you, John. What our solution has done is taken that 14 page application form and provided a series of logic pathways to guide each applicant through the process. Here we see the question, have you applied for legal aid before? Which has a yes or no answer. Our logic pathway, if answered yes, takes the applicant through to the form to provide further details. If no, steps them on to the next relevant question. We've also integrated the explanation guide John mentioned earlier. We've summarised each explanation tip and linked it to each question it relates to. This means the applicant doesn't need to go searching for an explanation to their question. Each applicant's full legal name is an important part of the application process. Through our consultations with Legal Aid ACT, they've identified this as a serious problem point, as they require an accurate full legal name of every applicant so they can conduct conflict checks. Often applicants may misspell their name or there can be a transcription error when entering the hard, the hard copy paper form. We've come up with two solutions for this. We have the capability to upload the official documentation so that we can, later on, we can check against that official ID that their name matches. We've also provided a visual guide so each applicant can locate the relevant information. We understand that many legal aid applicants may not have such, ident such an identification, so this is, is not a mandatory step in the application process. It's merely there to assist. On to the finances. We, pro we provide a form so that each applicant can provide all the necessary financial information. Additionally, we can, we can calculate this information and provide Legal Aid ACT with the indication of whether this application is likely to be accepted or not. The signatures have also been identified by Legal Aid, Legal Aid ACT as another problem point. Currently, applicants are required to come to one location in the ACT to drop off their paper form. And if it's not signed, or not signed in the correct spot, they must come back to that one location, which can take a couple of weeks, in some cases, to sign the form correctly. We can automatically provide follow-up. First of all, will prompt the applicant to sign the form in the correct spot. spot. Additionally, we can email them for an immediate, immediate review and proofing so each valid application can get approved quickly. By using Checkbox, it gives us a range of key data indicators that we can identify trends and pressure points in the form. This means that we can rectify problems that are in the existing form and improve it in the future. I'll hand over to John. More legal aid applications are being received each year, and each legal aid application that is received must be processed. Currently, Legal Aid ACT has eight full-time staff whose only job is to process applications. As more applications are received, more staff are needed. Olaf changes this. Instead of staff entering in data, what they'll do is making the important decision whether a legal aid grant should be made or not. Legal Aid ACT saves money and time, and applicants save time. Legal Aid ACT saves 1,245 hours of paid employee time, and this is calculated through 3,735 applications, taking an extra 20 minutes because of double handling, and this is rectified because of the integration of information with Legal Aid ACT's existing systems. It saves thousands of hours 
of volunteer time because 45 minutes to an hour is spent with each applicant going through the form. For the applicant, each one saves time because they're only answering relevant questions and are done at a time that's convenient for them. This form is adaptive because it can change to the requirements of any form and scalable to any organisation. For example, this could go to any legal aid commission, community legal centre and any law firm. Our minimum viable product is online, interactive and integrates with legal ACT's existing systems. The medium term phases, horizontally, would be the addition of more languages to increase comprehensions like Arabic and Hindi. Vertically, what we'd do is help the assessor make their decision whether there should be a legal aid grant. Our market strategy. We've already identified our target market. I mentioned earlier that we're in provisional negotiations with our first client. Our target market, legal aid ACT. Our pricing strategy as a subscription service gives us a competitive advantage over existing bespoke solutions, which often have high setup fees. We'll have a zero dollar setup fee and we make our margin through a monthly subscription. Ethics and legality. The platform Olaf uses already works with large financial institutions and universities to ensure the highest data security. Moreover, Olaf's platform regularly undergoes third party penetration testing and is frequently audited by Deloitte for security operations compliance. Otherwise, this data is stored on the existing infrastructure at Legal Aid ACT. Finally, what are the outcomes? Legal Aid ACT saves 1,245 hours of employee time, thousands of hours of volunteer time. The outcomes for the applicant? By answering only relevant questions, you can eliminate up to 52 questions. They can access it from anywhere, and we've made this form so simple that you can do it on your phone. Thank you very much.